Have you ever felt like you're just stuck in this never ending cycle of manipulation and the narcissist just says the same thing over and over and over again, gaslighting you? And you're like, I've heard them say that before. I'm gonna give you six things in this video that you can definitely count on a narcissist to say. And I'm also going to help you out with how you can respond so that you can feel powerful in any situation when you're dealing with a narcissist. Hey, I'm Rebecca Sung, and I'm a high conflict negotiation attorney and expert specializing in empowering you individuals in handling them effectively. I'm going to help you in any situation. So make sure that you have subscribed here. You've hit that bell so that you can never miss a video and become the best version of yourself. These common phrases are, they're used by every narcissist really. And I want to make sure that you can spot them and that you can know what to do in any situation when you're dealing with that garden variety narcissist or that covert narcissist who pretends to be oh so sweet and so kind in any situation. All right. So you're overreacting. I know I've heard before. I've heard it in court. I've heard it with opposing counsel. I've heard it in a personal situation. All you're trying to do is have a conversation with them. They use this to gaslight you because they don't want to hear what you have to say. They're trying to dismiss your feelings or invalidate your experiences. And oftentimes it's meant to project because they're trying to shut you up. They want you to feel like you're the problem. It's a defense mechanism. Instead of you getting defensive, which I always say, I always wear jade. I'm half Chinese. I always wear jade, but never jade, never justify, argue, defend, or explain. Calmly assert yourself, stand in your power. The more you can stay calm, the better it's going to be for you. The more you get angry, the more you get into it, the more they suck you in. Now you're sucked in, dragged in, dragged out. Stand in your power and just say, I don't agree. I, my feelings are valid and this is important to me. You don't even have to say I'm not overreacting. Just say, I don't agree. My feelings are valid and this is, this is important. In a professional setting, I've had clients who I'm dealing with or I'm representing and people are, you know, I've had opposing counsel say you're overreacting and I've just had to say, no, I'm not. You know, my client is upset about this situation and I'm bringing it to your attention. I'm not overreacting. It's a serious situation. They're unhappy about it. You know, if they're trying to dismiss your concerns, you just calmly respond. Don't get emotional. Stand your ground and, and maintain your confidence and stick to the issues. Don't get personal because as soon as you say, you know, I don't like the hair on your head or this or that, you know, you don't, as soon as you go there, then you're losing control. Similarly is number two is you're too sensitive. Narcissists love to accuse other people of being too sensitive as a way to deflect people away from their hurtful actions. So if they've done something to hurt you, or maybe you found suspicious text messages in their phone, or you've seen behavior that they've engaged in that is inappropriate, they'll just dismiss it away. Oh, you're too sensitive. And this is another form of gaslighting. So you want to respond with something like, I'm not too sensitive. I'm having an appropriate response to your actions. Your actions were hurtful and I'm expressing how I feel about them. If they're not going to address your feelings, then this is not a person that you should be with if it's a personal relationship. I know I've had people in my life who have said this to me, if this is the type of person, you know, I certainly wouldn't be friends with this type of a person anymore. I mean, if that's the case, then you definitely want to, uh, you know, assert boundaries. And if you are dealing with this type of a person and you want phrases for disarming them, I have free phrases for disarming narcissists. You can get those at disarmthenarc.com. 
I highly recommend that you go get them. It will help you reclaim your power. Also join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung for more support and will give you more feeling of community as well. Don't do this alone. Don't be in isolation. The next thing that they will do is they'll accuse you of being the narcissist. They love to project their narcissistic behavior on others. If they accuse you of being the narcissist, they're going to do that because they know it's the one thing that will bother you the most, that will send you off into the stratosphere. That is just something you can just, oh, well, that's interesting. That's curious. What makes you think that? Get curious instead of angry. Be like Inspector Clouseau. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. What, what makes you think that? It kind of puts the burden of proof back on them and you're really not interested in their response. It's just more like diffusing. It's like that you're not getting angry. You're just more like curious. Oh, hmm, okay. Did you just calmly ask for examples? Oh, oh, that's interesting. What makes you think that? The next one is you'll never find anybody better. You know, this is meant to undermine your self-esteem and keep you tied to them. Do not believe it. Okay, there's so many examples that I can give you where I have seen people say this to others and three hours after the divorce ink was dry, or, you know, that th they've signed the agreement, they went to the grocery store and they found their soulmate in the seafood section. They just want you to feel dependent on them. They want you to think that your self-worth is tied up in them, that no one else is ever going to want you or whatever it is. I understand that that's what you think. But I am confident in myself and I know my value. That's all you need to say. I understand myself, my value and my self-worth. Thank you. You don't need to say, I'll find somebody else or anything like that, because then that will trigger them. Just say, I understand that that's what you think, but I, I know my self-worth and I know my value. Another thing that they love to say is everybody else. Everybody else agrees with me or no one else agrees with you. You know, the absolutes, speaking in absolutes, they certainly don't want you to speak in absolutes, but they love to speak in absolutes, right? And they love to like let you think that there's this huge army out there of people, this bevy of people that are all lined up against you and with them so that you feel isolated, so that you feel ganged up on, bullied. The way that I would just combat that is, Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate your concern. That's all you need to say. You don't need to, you know, say, you know, you're going to go verify it or, you know, you want them to verify it. You don't need to say anything like that. Just shut it down. But just say, you know, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate your concern. And that's it. Because then it just is like, whatever. There's a, an expression that says, I said, whatever, bitches, and the bitches, whatever. So just leave it alone. Don't give it credence. Don't give it merit. Because even if the people are saying this stuff, who cares? Those aren't your people. Stop trying to make your not your people your people. The people who are your true people aren't going to say stuff about you. And the people who aren't are. So whatever. Okay? So leave it alone. And the next one is, I never said that. I mean, you can have it in a text message that glaringly says that they said that. You can have it in a recording and play it for them. I've done this in court and they'll still say, I never said that. They love to gaslight you. I've seen opposing counsel do that right in a court transcript. Here it is. You said this. I never said that. Okay. Keanu Reeves says, I'm at a point in my life where if somebody says one plus one equals three or whatever, you just go, eh, you're right. Have a, have a great day. Have a nice life. Let it leave it alone. Keep a record of the conversations. Just calmly, you know, just keep a record of the facts. Keep a record of your texts, of your emails. And you know what you say? You say, thank you for the gift to yourself, not to them. You just document. Because documenting their lies and their inconsistent statements becomes your gift of leverage. It makes you, helps you maintain your sanity and you will assert the truth down the road. All of these things will help you. It will prepare you. You will be able to respond more effectively. And let me tell you what happens in darkness ends up in the light. 
It does. It just does. It becomes your, your leverage. And I show you how to use it as leverage and just get started with my disarm the narc phrases. It's a good place to start. And remember, you have the power to confidently assert yourself and handle yourself in these situations with grace and strength and narcissists only win when you give in. So if you found this video helpful, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, comment below with your thoughts and your experiences. And the next video that I want you to watch is five ways to respond when the narcissist calls you the narcissist. All right. And I will see you in that next video. And remember, today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. I'll see you in that next video. Shopify helps millions sell billions around the world through their digital courses, through their digital products at the touch of a button on their smartphones, on social media, however they want, including me at shop.rebeccazung.com. You can access your store from all over the world, just the touch of a button from your smartphones, start accepting payments, everything you need to sell online, manage orders and develop relationships in one place and look fabulous doing it. Shopify is the commerce platform that is revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, including my own at shop.rebeccazung.com. So right now, what you need to do is sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash best life, all lowercase, go to shopify.com slash best life to take your retail business to the next level today, shopify.com slash best best life. Americans spend up to 90% of their time indoors and take 20,000 breaths a day. Yet, according to the EPA, indoor air is actually more polluted than outdoor air. And in fact, a hundred times more polluted than outdoor air. In fact, it's responsible for up to 7 million premature deaths annually. And I know for us, we have had issues with asthma. My daughter has struggled with asthma. And that's why we were so excited to find Air Doctor. Air Doctor has captured the attention of huge media outlets such as CNN, Money, ABC, and more. And it filters out 99.9% .9 of dangerous contaminants and allergens such as pollen, pet dander, dust mites, and mold, and even bacteria and viruses. So your lungs don't have to do all of that extra work. So right now, Air Doctor also comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't love it, you just send it back for a refund minus shipping. So head to airdoctorpro.com and use the promo code your best life and depending on the model you receive up to 39 percent off and up to 300 dollars off exclusive to podcast customers you'll also receive a three-year warranty on any unit which is an additional 84 dollars value lock in this special offer by going to air dot -E and use the promo code your best life